Who's a good doggy wiggy? Who's a good doggy wiggy? You're a good doggy wiggy. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Who needs a good brushing? Who needs a good brushing? Hey, you hey, like it. Hey, yay, what's what up? What have you got there? How are you doing? Hi. Oh, look, it's a cone. I look know. How... Well, I think that wait, wait, wait. you have something behind your back. No, I do not. I do, yeah? I, did I tell you how well, lovely you look today? Oh, really? Yeah, Thank you. you. Look very but I'm not ah! sure that you have a toy stuffed dog. There, I mean, why do you have that dog behind your back? Why? This is Woofy. Oh, hi, Woofy. Hey, it's my pet dog. Okay, your pet dog. Well, my pet toy dog. Your pet toy yes. dog? Why don't you just get a real dog? Because I'm grooming my pet toy dog and I'm just practicing grooming on Woofy. Okay, I don't understand why you can't practice on a woof, woof a real dog, you know? Because, because, because my mom won't let me get a real dog. Oh, okay, really? so, so that's why I have to practice on a fake okay. dog. So before I get a real dog, I have and, to build no, no, up responsibility. No, 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 what are you doing? And so you're using this Yes, thing. I'm grooming the you're dog. You're using a comb. Yes. Do you know that if Woofy was a real dog, he would bite you? No, that's not true. Because that comb hurts him? Oh, that's not true. Yes, it's true. You can't use a comb. You have to use a special brush. Oh, I give up on you, white kid, all these years. You know what? That's why I have called in a special... We have special guests today that are going to teach us how to groom dogs. Don't do that, white kid. Levitating the comb. I'd like to introduce Maggie. Come on in. Hi, Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Hi, hello, Maggie. Hello, hello, and this is Lemon. Ah, hello. Hi, Lemon. <gasps> Le is he is he friendly? Oh, yeah, don't worry. Lemon is very friendly. Okay. Oh, nice. So, what's this? I hear about getting a dog. <laughs> oh, well, my friend Roy Kid over here thought that he would, um, you know, have a dog and, well, not want to take proper care of it. But that's not true. I was actually practicing on a fake dog before I got a real dog. And this is a real dog. You're going to show us how to groom a real dog. Yes, definitely. Wow. Oh, look at all this. You've got all this. Tools. Yes, so these are grooming tools, right? You're going to use them all on lemon? Yes, the brush, the comb, and even the toothbrush. Speaking of combs, do you know that White Kid was going to use this on his real dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, we would prefer to use a doggy comb, which is a steel comb, because this is much more durable, and also you can disinfect after using it. I knew. Nice! Well, I, knew. I think we should get started. Oh, but before we start, we have invited actor Julian He in the house today with his dog, Storm! Oh. So the Julian here is a local actor, he's appeared on local television and he's brought with us a very special friend. Who do we have here? Hi Julian and hi Storm! Hi everybody! <gasps> so did, cute. did you hear that? What? Thunder. I'm so sorry, Julian. My co-host here is a bit crazy. Um, anyway, Julian, how long have you had Storm? I had Storm for 11 years. Um, wow. I got I adopted her when I was working in Taiwan, and she has been That's a bundle of joy ever since. That's lovely. Well, wh why don't we all get started, huh, Maggie? Well, sure. See this? This is a pinball sticker brush, and this is a steel comb. We are using a pinball sticker brush because this is not pointed. Therefore, this is very safe for kids and also for the dogs. Nice! See? Ah! Oh. How cute is that? That is very, very cute. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I, I, I think I'm ready to groom the dog as well. So I'm just going to take this brush and... and um, uh, maybe you should take... Well, well, yeah. well, yeah, uh, I think this so. is called a fermigator. you got to be very, very careful when using this. Um, what happens is that this removes the, the hair, the dead hair, that will otherwise land on your bed, your cushion, your mattress and all that. Wow. Yep, so... Look at all that hair! Can yeah. you see that? I know, it's like more than my hair. But Julian, we can't do it too hard, right? We can't comb them too hard. Yes, you got to be very careful with that. Hmm. And wh why is it that we have to be careful when we comb the dog? Yeah. Oh yeah, never forcefully comb out a tangled fur because it actually hurts them. It's just like we're having bubblegum stuck onto our hair and we try to comb it up. Oh. Oh. And I noticed that you have, I mean, a comb there. We're going to go back to the comb in just a bit, but we've got a question from a home viewer. Uh, Yunesh, she's got a question for us. What's your question or comment? Uh, Yunesh? Yeah, uh, do you have any experience where the dog has actually bitten you or anything? 
Wow, nice, uh, interesting question. Thank you, Dinesh. So, have you had any experience while grooming as the dog attacked you? I think that's what. Well, um, there are some dogs that are pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. So what we do is actually we muzzle them before we start, you know, to work on them. Right. Ah. And muzzling okay. them is, is is keeping them safe from biting us. Yes, as well. and also for them, they, also for themselves as well. I well, see. Actually, we've got another question. We've got right? another one. Got another okay. On the line, and we've got Nina. What's your question or comment for us? Well, I think they're arguing. I think they're arguing ask the over question. the question. So, what is the question? Nina, can you ask the question? Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, you, why don't we come back to them just yeah. a while? Uh, in the meantime, you're talking about the comb as well as why do we brush the dog twice? Oh, yeah. It's actually very important to go through with a comb after you brush it. It's to make sure that there's no more tangle and it's very nicely, you know, and smooth <gasps> like this. Oh, it's wow. It's like double so checking nice. your work, right? Yes, right. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. So nice. And talking about grooming, I mean, humans, we, well, we tend to shower ourselves at least once a day. Uh, some people, I don't know. But uh, dogs, how often do we groom dogs? Uh, well, I, I don't bathe her every day because uh, that would probably be too excessive. So what I do is that um, she gets a weekly bath and her nails trimmed uh, once every three weeks. Oh, wow. That is so nice. And what about you, Maggie? Oh, what? it actually depends on what kind of uh, coat the dog has. If the dog has uh, you know, a very flat, silky coat like Storm, it doesn't need to be groomed as much as a lemon, which has this kind of you know, cotton fur like mm. coat. And talking about <laughs> grooming, we've learned how to brush, we learn how to comb. What else is there to grooming? Oh, we have... Teeth brushing as well. Teeth oh. brushing. Well, it just, it's funny you mention that because I actually have brought my own toothbrush. Wow, he actually brushes home. his teeth. Look and, at that. Um, can, I, can I use a dog to... Well, can I, can I use a dog to brush this? Can I use this to brush a dog? <laughs> well, uh, unless you want to share a toothbrush with a dog. But um, actually, human toothbrush is possible. But to make your life, like, make your job of brushing like easier, you can actually use this specifically for dogs. Um, what it does is that, you know, it has a curve, so it's like, ergonomically more uh, easier for you right. to, to brush a dog. And Maggie, you you have a special brush. Let's take a look at this. It's got two brushes, one this side and one that side. I assume you can use this to brush two dogs at the same time to save time. Like, Andy, right? there. Is that right? No, that is not true. The small one is actually for small dogs like lemon, okay. and a big one is for actually something like for stop. Oh, okay. Nice. Two in one. Great. Yes, well, we've got another voice caller. Hello, Jason. What's your question? Oh. Thanks a oh. lot, Jason. Goodbye. You broke um, my heart, Jason. Maggie, do you have any no, advice no, for children? Oh, it's okay, no, it's friendly. not you. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice out there yeah, for yeah, children? Definitely. Do it slowly, be gentle. Mm -hmm. um, it's always good to know that dog safety comes first. Mm. Yeah. And um, always make sure that there's an adult to supervise you while you're doing it. Mm. And lastly, not to forget, always give the dog a treat as a oh. form of reward. Oh. Yum, yum. After the grooming session. Oh, no, that's a happy I wish dog. I got a treat. Every time I got Julian, it. any words of advice for those uh, about dog grooming? Well, it's actually a um, great time to bond with your dogs. And I remember getting a dog is actually a um, great responsibility because you've got to take care of it for like at least 10 years. But um, by doing that, you'll get like 10 years of love, fun, and, and, and lots of loyalty. Yeah, it's great companionship to have a dog. Well, thank, thank you very you. much uh, for thank coming on the show, much. Maggie and Julian. Yes. Thank you. As well as Arigato. your dogs. Storm. Thank you, Storm, Arigato, and uh, Grazia. Grazia. Lemon. Thank you very much, Storm. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to go for a quick commercial break, but afterwards, uh, we're going to play our uh, 3G video game. So I do advise you once again to call now, call our 3G hotline, so you get a chance to win $50 live on TV, only on Nocturne Live. We'll see you right after the break.